Also tonight, the results are in. A DNA test for the two hybrid dogs that were captured in Warwick last month shocks the nonprofit in Ohio that rescued them. I'm Dan Janik. Good to have you with us tonight. I'm Patrice Wood. The results come on the same day that the man charged in connection to the dogs roaming around is released from jail and not happy to see our camera. The night team's Molly Levine is live at Oakland Beach with details. Molly. Yeah, Dan and Patrice, the puppies originally captured in this area. Now they're, uh, she says, thriving over in Ohio at the rescue um, that they've been placed at. And I was actually on Zoom with the president, and when she found out about the DNA test, she was pretty shocked. Libby came in at 57% gray wool. And Willow, originally named Bella, coming in at 44.5% gray wolf. A huge discrepancy from her sister. Normally there's like a five to 10%. This is a big difference. It's interesting. I, I literally just got it. President of Red Riding Hood Rescue in Ohio, Susan Vogt, says Willow is considered low content. 44.5% gray wolf, 27% German shepherd, 23.4% Alaskan Malmute, and 5.1% Siberian Husky. Willow's a little shyer and kind of follows around her big sister. While Wiley, formerly known as Libby, is categorized as mid-content. 57% gray wolf, 18.5% German shepherd, 18.3% Alaskan Malmute, and 6.2% Siberian Husky. Rambunctious, curious. Curious, a troublemaker. The two dogs illegal to own in Rhode Island, captured last month in Oakland Beach, running freely and causing a commotion. They're not dangerous animals. They're puppies. Um, they shouldn't be running loose. They're in danger. The man charged in connection with the two roaming hybrid dogs, Andrew Sandville, released from jail today. Our NBC 10's Brian Crandall tries speaking with the man about what happened in the case that went viral. Those with Sandville yelling no comment and covering his head with a jacket. Court documents show Sandville pled no contest to some of the charges against him and two other charges were dropped. Sandville received an 11-month suspended sentence as a result of his plea, so no more jail time. Meanwhile, in Ohio. The situation they came from is bad. The community in Rhode Island is just blowing us away. The nonprofit has been receiving generous donations since the two seven month old pups came to them. What we learned is everyone is invested in these puppies because they want to see something good. And Rhode Island has shown, shown us nothing but that. And for those looking to still help or donate, you can find the link to do so on our website, turn to 10.com. Live from Warwick, Molly Levine, NBC 10 News Night Team. Hi everyone, it's Mark Searles from NBC10. Thanks for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.